so I'm going to start over. Okay. Okay. But, um, what we're going to talk about is a holiday selling plan. And what that means is not necessarily shows, but what activities you're going to do between now and the end of the season. And a lot of that is going to be planting seeds and providing service to your clients that have already shopped. So um, I want everybody to come up with a list of activities that they're going to do. So, but in the meantime, let's brainstorm everyone <laughs> with activities that you plan on doing. Um, and, and we'll just do this together here, Kelly, cause I actually, I'm going to share my screen just so I can see what I, I may, I started a list yesterday, Google docs. I think it's in, uh, uh okay. So First off, I'm connect. This is this week's list, but I'm connecting with women, um, maybe women that uh, shopped with you in your launch season. Um, I'm connecting with them and making sure that um, that we've had some kind of a connection. Mm -hmm. uh, for so anyway, you can see that I've I've. Um, made my list. Another thing uh, for this week is repeat silhouettes. That's down at the bottom there. Um, so, you know, like there are probably 20 pieces that are silhouettes that we've done before. So I will actually show you. So I started doing um, like who bought the compass pants or who bought the quantum. Okay. So, but that's not going to really help you a whole lot unless you had a lot of people buying things from last spring, but was the knit with top last spring or was that last? Oh, it was fall 22, but you can see that. Well, we can't see that because that's under somebody else. We can only see our people and what they purchased. Right. So, um, yeah, that's not going to work for you. Um, unless it was a spring piece, that's all fall. Um, you could do the compass pant if you sold any. But anyway, so I'm not going to waste a lot of time talking about that one. Right. But, all right, where'd my list go? Oh, I did away with it. Um, How cute. So, sorry. Um, so, same silhouettes. Um, people that have not shopped, um, people that have shopped and you just want to follow up and, you know, make a call, remember the fortunes in the follow-up, call them and say, how are you liking your pieces? How are you enjoying your pieces? Oh, and by the way, I'm having my holiday get together, um, on such and such date, I would love it if you came. Um, I don't think you've seen the new arrivals in person, right. whatever. Um, but that would be another thing. Are you going to do any kind of a holiday get together? Put that on your list, set the date and start telling people when it is. Um, what are some other things? Well, on the holiday helper, one question I had is I had wondered about mailing something to the husband that would be in a USPS. Like if you don't have the husband's contact information Correct. or is it better just to talk to the to female to and the then female. let her instigate the whole thing? Um, I, it, I, what my answer to that would be, it would depend on your relationship. Um, there are many men that I have no problem calling. Um, but there are going to be others that maybe you don't know the men as well. 
And so maybe it would go be better to contact the wife or female. Um, did you remember the card that I did? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have handed that out along the way. Right. Um, now is a really good time. That could be um, another way for you to connect is just to start calling people and saying, hey, um, I'm doing this holiday helper thing. And um, do you think your, would you, is there anything you'd like to see under the tree? So that's another thing. That's a good one, Kelly. So um, holiday helper. Sorry. I'm and I mean, wouldn't you think because of some of the items in the inventory status, we need to try to encourage them to go ahead and order their Christmas stuff now? I would. Because remember, they have until January 31st to re return or exchange. Right. Um, there was something else you made me think of before that. We were talking about the little postcard. Yeah. So reaching out to people now. I don't know. It's gone. Okay. Um, Janie, welcome. We're talking about a holiday selling plan and ideas that you are, or not ideas, activities <laughs> that you're going to do between now and the end of the season. And um, Kelly and I are just kind of brainstorming. Um, and without repeating everything, let's just move ahead. And what are some other things? I forget what was on my list. There was something else. Um, but follow-up is really good. Uh, another thing you can do is, hey, somebody that still has favorites, call them up and say, hey, if you've got a couple of people you want to bring on over to the house to, to introduce right. Them to, and that's a line I use a lot when I want new people is I'd love to introduce them to Cabby. I know how much you love the clothes. Do you have a couple of friends and you can come over here and maybe you can get yourself some of those things at half off. I mean, that sounds like you're trying to do them a favor. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was some about the husband's. And ordering early, that's great. Don't forget to provide, unless you don't like to wrap presents. Yeah. But provide free wrapping and delivery. Um, you want to make it as easy as possible for them. And you might even, if you know the husbands and you're comfortable calling them, you can say, hey, Susie Q has these marked as her favorites. I know she'd love to see them oh. under the tree. Um, my best friend... I usually, you know, like I'm hearing her, I'd really like the grace coat. And I'm like, yeah, that'd be a nice thing. So obviously she doesn't want to spend the money, but I can, you know, his husband wants, her husband wants to hear her squeal Christmas morning. Right. So he's more apt to fork out the money for that. Right. So that's a really good tool. Um, What about, and y'all, we explained about pajama PQV. Welcome, Audrey. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Um, so pajama PQV are these kinds of things where you can really delve into your back office and do different uh, filters and come up with different lists of people that um you can call or connect with um what are some other things that we could do well the bag drop was fun i did one of those <laughs> how did it work out not really but it's still i think it's i think i might have gave too many pieces but she bought one piece um but that's the win that yeah, is a win. That's good. That is a win. But I will say is they, they don't treat your clothes the way you do. What did you do? Uh, yeah, like they came true. back so crumpled. I was like, oh. <laughs> so 
happy. Have, I just have to steam them, you know. How did you deliver them? Are you in a garment bag? Bags? Are she, you dropped off some ideas for someone to Yeah. But you took them over in the um garment bag hung up? <laughs> okay then. Uh <laughs> But yeah, that is a good thing, you know, um, especially if it's someone that has favorites. Do y'all have people that have favorites? Yeah. Okay. So check that out. And if they have four favorites, you pick out those four favorites plus six other pieces that would coordinate really well. Um, and just give them a call and say, hey, I see you have those favorites. Um, would you like me to drop them off so you can play with them and see how they'd work in your closet? And then... how are you tracking their favorites? Well, you go into the little portal and you there's a place under in and under customers that you or guests that you click favorites. It's at the very top. Here we go. Is ha has <laughs> has favorites. I've used that. I've e emailed that out. Um, Audrey, let me ask you, you said you thought you sent the lady too many pieces. I mean, how many did you take over there? I took 15. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Is that okay? Right. I, mean, I would have said 10 to 12. I just told her, play around with your wardrobe in your closet and see if you, you know, find some little things that you want to, you know, yeah. move into it. So okay, Audrey, look here. So this is my back office, my contact manager. Okay. And hang on. Oops. Has favorites. So it right at the top it says contacts and it mm -hmm. says has favorites right there. So I'm putting that in or are they putting that in? You. Well, no, oh. no, 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 no. Oh, I thought you meant this part. Yeah. They are. Although when I'm at a show and I'm checking somebody out and they still have stuff on their list that they'd like, uh -huh. I put that in their favorites as I check them out. That's what I need to do. Okay. Not that people out. I don't know why I'm leaning. No, I'm leaning to <laughs> people out um on an ipad or something uh, something digital <laughs> i bring my digital ipad but um i'm not real fast so sometimes i have to write down fast. at it later but think about this it's not fast but it gives you time to talk at the same time so here you have we have my list of people that have favorites oh here's a big one Don Clark has 16. And then if you just click on this number here, Audrey, mm -hmm. where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Oh, there See? Wow. wow. See, Liz, I need to reach out to her. <laughs> okay. Now you go into this and you're inputting it from here. You're putting inputting the person's favorites from this part right here. Contact. No. No. Okay. Um, well, what I do is at the checkout, I go ahead and put in all the items that they tried. And then, like, if you put it in the cart, then you, there's an option to move it to favorites. That's the way I'm doing it. Yep. Mm. yep. But most of the time, these are people that... um our longtime cabbie people or customers of mine and they're looking at the collection online and favoriting things just oh like okay. okay or with the app right pardon me yeah with the so, app as well if they select their favorites yeah. with the app it'll show up here right on cabbie tap or also um from directly from your website so um anyway so that's and and here's the other thing that you could be doing for christmas so um has favorites is one of them another thing you can do is um 
think about, okay, this is something I'm doing this week. So I keep track by month of what I sold. And this month, my biggest seller, or last month, October, my biggest seller was the Flora blouse. So I am going back and I'm doing a Facebook uh, post all about the Flora blouse. And they know this. I've done videos for the uh, for August and September, but this time I'm like, I'm not putting makeup on this time. <laughs> So I'm going to get pictures, you know, I'm going to uh, search Flora Blouse on Facebook and on Instagram to get pictures of people and how they styled it differently. And then I'll go to Facebook and say, okay, so this month, guess what I sold the most of? It's the mm -hmm. Flora Blouse, one of my favorites, blah, blah, blah. Take a look at how it's, how different people styled it and click on this link to get yours. Mm, wow. Okay. You'd be surprised. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's um, nice. So that's another thing you could do and make it up. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> have I mean, just make sure it's a piece that's in good stock that, you know, it's so right. well, um, or, do an expensive piece. Like how many of you, I mean, it's so easy to go on your Facebook group page, or even if you haven't set that up yet, just your personal page and say, how many of my ladies would love to see the, okay, you're all in the South. Never mind. But how many of you ladies would love to see the Sophia jacket under the tree? Mm. And then at everyone so that everyone will see it. And then if you have some specific people, you can tag them. But the thing is when you're posting something on Facebook, long time ago, I did a, a tutorial for the Nelson organization um, about how to best use Facebook or social media. So what you, if ask a question at the end, like how many of you would like to see this under the tree? Mm -hmm. Then you create a response, you get the conversation. I think the biggest thing about social media that people forget is that it's social. So that means back and forth, not just one way, that's sales. <laughs> you wanna create community, you want to create connection. Mm -hmm. All right. So what are some other ideas that we could use between now and December 31st? And in case you missed it, um, I said at the top that I want to see plans from each one of you not of activities that you're going to commit to doing between now and the 31st. And I promise you, if you commit to those activities, you are going to be successful. Okay, so what are some other things? Um, you know, uh, those things were things that we do uh, PJPQV, um, pajama PQV, sit on your sofa while you're watching TV or whatever and just go through your contacts and just play around with it. Reach out to people, get one text going. Hey, Susie, I'm having a sip and shop this weekend between two and four. Can you come by? I want you to see blah, blah, blah. You guys know what to do. You just mm -hmm. have to do it. And I'm preaching to the choir here too, because I need to do it. Okay, one question I had. I think there was a call last week where they came up with the ideas and they presented the ideas. And one thing they said was Pink Friday, have a Pink Friday. And I kind of wondered about that because I just wanted your thoughts on it because for Black Friday, most people are thinking about sales. Well, if we get them to come over for Pink Friday, we're not really having a sale. 
<laughs> no, we're not. Um, some people just use that as like an idea to have people over. Okay. It, it, so you can call it whatever you want. No, we're not having any sales. Right. Um, but I would take it more in the direction of, okay, while your husband or your partner is home watching football, why don't you come over? There's got to be a better name for that, though. You know, like for football wives or football widows or whatever. Come on over. While the guys are watching football, you can come over here and shop. Going to have wine and whatever. Wine never does it for me, guys. I don't drink. So or my squad makes fun of me. They sit, they call me six ounce because that's about all I can handle. And then things go bad. But um, but a lot of women do like, you know, come on over from four to six. I'm gonna have a happy hour. Or another one I like is uh wine down Wednesday. W-I-N-E. Uh wine down Wednesday, come by real casual, but, but I also like the one about the football. You can There's, also, you can also, you could also play on the wind down and say wine or wine. W H yes. I N E. Yes. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah. That's good. How about a cabbie sitter? Somebody that, you know, is having lots, excuse me, lots of family in for Thanksgiving. Maybe they'd like to have the collection for the weekend. You're probably not going to be doing any shows or anything. So you might as well, you know, like I have a friend down the road that hasn't shopped yet this season. And I'm like, why don't you just take the collection? I know you have scads of people coming in. You can, you know, while the guys are watching football and, you know, and you're waiting for the turkey to be ready you guys can shop that one's kind of love them but yeah okay because go I, ahead i had uh, well i was just going to tell you what i did um yesterday most of the day yeah go ahead kelly you were right um and i went through everybody on that contact list that i have sold to and i looked at their closet and if you go down that left side and click on closet, you will see everything they bought for a certain number of seasons backwards, what, three or four, and including what they bought this season. Then um, I discovered that's under items. There's a selection across the top there, um, wardrobe basics. Sometimes there are some basics suggested as far as styling, uh, just sketches I noticed most right. people didn't have that. Then looks, Cabby creates some suggested ideas. Um, if you hit refresh wardrobe, I got excited because this is like playing on the app. Um, yep. It gives them outfit ideas and it shows based on how much they want to spend some suggested pieces. And so I looked and compared that with my samples. Now I want to I want your opinion, Katie, because I really value it. One of the suggestions from one of the training calls um, was to do the buy one get one half on reserve, and let people come and shop and reserve their items. I want to do that because I think I need to cut off my cabbie business mid December <clears throat> for the holidays. Yes. I have a college wrestler and I have six kids coming and going. Okay. So I want to be done for the season mid December. And um, plus, I do a few other things. Um, but you have a life. I, I, I got a crazy life. Yeah, I know. And okay. I got a crazy life. But meanwhile, um, I'm going to message and I've already messaged two of the people and I've made notes and it was time consuming but I made notes for everybody and I'm going to tell them that uh, I want to give them a quick text telling them um, that I've evaluated their purchases and looked at their cabbie closet that's if they've done that on the app and if they haven't I'm going to try to get them to do that but um, that these are some suggestions I have for you 
I mean, suggestions, suggestions or your favorites. And then I'll make a uh, list it in numeric. I, I number it and then off to the side, beside each piece, I put uh, sold out or I'll put, because I checked inventory too. Mm -hmm. I'll put um, available in my um, samples for half and blah, 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 blah. So, and then I tell them I'm doing a buy one, get one half for only my VIPs currently. So sure. um, give them first dibs because I don't want to say I'm not going to offer that later to somebody else. And then they'll go, well, you want, you know, I want right. them to feel special. So I'm telling them I'm giving them first dibs. Right. So that's, that's, I am ready to rock and roll. So I did two people yesterday <laughs> And, um, you know, one, one is a judge and she has bought a lot from me and we had a mutual friend whose youngest child mm. was in a car accident, mm. a teenager yesterday. She still made time to tell me, Hey, I know I want that certain jacket. I'm going to be at the hospital all night. Can I get with you tomorrow? So, yeah. you know, that was just a reminder to me that people really know and value the importance of taking care of themselves in the midst of whatever crisis is around them. They will make time for you. So yeah. I'm getting over the worrying about people not wanting to. Yeah, I, I, I was having some concerns about bothering people too much since not everybody values quality dressing, but I'm getting over it. <laughs> So, yeah. Yes. Okay. I want to, before we end, I do want to, because uh, um, Janie reminded me of something, which is, hang on. So if you, I don't even know that person. Oh, that would be a good one. No, hang on. Um. Okay, we'll do this person. So if you have a name of a person and um, they were somebody else's client before, maybe they were your uplines client, go in and oh, psh, that wasn't the one to use. <clears throat> and you know that... All right, this one is not one of my clients. She belongs to somebody else. And so uh, kind of a shared thing. Oh no, that's my niece. That's not gonna work. Hang on. Gee whiz, Katie. Yes. All right, let's just go here, okay? So you click on her name and you view the details. I know what I should have done. So I have had, you know, team members that have left. Well. Now those are my clients, but I have no clue if I look in purchase history to find out what they purchased. If they didn't buy it from me, it's not going to show up in purchase history. Kelly's nodding because she knows where I'm going. But you can look in her closet to see what she bought in the past. And my point wow. of showing you this is, for instance... Hang on. I'm looking for a light silhouette. Oh, I know. I'm going to go back to pants. So here's the skinny. So that's going to be the same fit as our corduroys. Or here's the high-low crop. So if you go into your people's closets, you may not know through the purchase history what they purchase. But if you go over here and look in their closet, you can see, did they buy the 20 or so pieces that are repeat silhouettes? And that's a great way to reach out. I, I was just showing, and I'll try and finish this, Kelly, so that people can use them. But I was doing graphics like this so the knit whip top came out in fall 22 the autumn top is the new one this season so i will email that to every person i know that got the knit with just so they make sure they're aware if they like the knit with they're gonna love the autumn top sometimes wow. it, sometimes it doesn't but it's if you know, if you're spe you specifically know that people have shopped 
your clients now have shopped with somebody else, you can look what's in their closet and see if they have any of the repeat silhouettes. I will, as soon as I hang up, email you a list of the repeat silhouettes. Okay, so that you could check. It'll take some time, but that's what I'm talking about when I say pajama PQV. This is the time to do it. Okay. Yep, you can just sit there and mine your filters and your contacts and you'll come up with ideas all on your own. But so your assignment for next week, and this goes whether you're on this call or you're watching the recording, <laughs> your assignment is to have a list of activities of what you're going to do, what you're going to commit to do between now and the end of December. Doesn't mean you can't add to it, but if you commit to it, you can't not do it. Okay. Okay. And I'm not going to ask for this next week. I want you to email it to me during the week. All right. Sounds good. Have you all renewed? That's not on my list, but I'm asking. Audrey, I, you yeah. Janie, did you renew? Kelly, I know. Have you guys bought your flights for Scoop? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Okay, I got to do that today. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys are coming from a different part of the country. Not only that, I'm like way out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, um, I'm not going this year. 